You're sick and tired of the current state of your life and you're finally ready to make a profound, long-lasting change in your life. I personally went from being a broke, depressed, anxious kid to now being a self-confident man, running a profitable online business in my 20s and having the time of my life while doing so. And in just an instant, I am going to reveal the truth about the No Not November challenge. You see, No Not November started with a good intention. The goal was to help men to retain that strong and powerful sexual energy which is in all of us. Because you see, if men are naturally driven to achieve things, whether it be building multi-million dollar businesses, creating some kind of revolutionary technology, getting jacked, or impacting the world in a profound positive way, I would argue that it all comes down to one single thing, the desire to procreate. But more than that actually, the desire for love, respect, and admiration. Let's be honest, deep down, most guys want to achieve big things in life. They want to get in shape, to make a lot of money, to be surrounded by beautiful women, or to find the love of their life and to provide for their future family. But let's be real, how many are actually willing to get in the trenches and to put in the gruesome work day after day? That's what I think is ironic. A lot of people are going to see somebody with a great body or somebody who drives an expensive car and they're automatically going to assume that, you know what, this person got lucky. Surely they didn't earn their success. Now don't get me wrong, undeniably some people start off with better circumstances than others. But you see, as the saying goes, it's not your fault if you were born in a poor family family, but it is your fault if you die poor. The problem with most people and with the whole concept of the No Not November challenge is that most people are completely blind to the realities of success. You might see the things that I post on my Instagram and think that I got lucky, that things were handed to me, that I had it easy. Let me tell you one thing, it wasn't the case. Growing up in a small town infested with criminals and drug dealers, I saw my own mother working herself to death during 12 hour night shifts at the hospital only to be treated like a commodity by the patients who didn't even pay for healthcare they're receiving. Success, no matter the endeavor, is going to require more time, more hard work, more perseverance, and more sacrifice than you think. And that is my biggest problem with the No Nut November challenge. Most people just see it as that, a 30-day challenge. But let me ask you a question. What do you think happens when somebody decides to go on a diet for 30 days just to lose some body fat? Now, fair enough. If they actually stick to the diet, they will start to see some results and they will lose some weight. But what do you honestly think is going to happen when they go right back to the old eating habits once the 30 days are over. The same is true with the No Nut November challenge. Truth is, No Nut November should not be a 30 day challenge. It should be a lifestyle, a conscious long term change that you make in your life. Because let's face it, most guys claim that they want to be successful. But if you look at what they do on a daily basis, you'll realize that their priorities are clearly elsewhere. At the end of the day, what you say simply doesn't matter. What you do does, however. In fact, if you showed me what a day or what a week in your life looked like, I would be able to predict with 99.9% .9 accuracy what your life is going to look like in a couple years in the future. The reason being, your success or lack thereof is found in your daily routine, in the things that you do repeatedly over months and over years. Unlike you see in the Hollywood movies, great things don't happen just overnight. They take time, perseverance, and hard work. So turn that 30-day challenge into an actual lifestyle, something that you do long term. Because I can tell you one thing right now, the successful man that you aspire to be like. He doesn't think about nofap. Do you really think he's doing a 30-day challenge? For him, it's simply a standard. It's kind of like going to the gym. It is my personal standard to go and hit the gym every day. And that's one of the first things I do upon waking. I'm not going to miss a day. It's not a 30-day challenge. It is something embedded in my DNA. It's part of me. Now, I'll grant you that. No Not November challenge and other similar challenges, they're a good introduction to the general public to quitting porn and stopping excessive masturbation. Truth is, you'll hear gurus say that you should never bust a not. And they tell you that because now they're successful, they're wealthy, so they have no trouble getting dates and they have the time for it. But you see, at the same time, they're being hypocritical because they know everybody has sexual desire. They say that casual dating is pointless and you should just focus on you. And to some degree, I agree with this sort of advice. You should definitely focus on you. You should be your first priority. But you might just be in a stage in your life right now where you know you are not ready to date. And so what are you supposed to do when you have that urge, that sexual urge? Now, I'm not saying that you should give in every single time, but let's be real. Over a six month period, if you do it once or twice, is it really going to prevent you from becoming the successful person that you want to be? Of course not. Now you still need to be careful because it's easy to say, oh, I'll just do it this once and then you're doing it the day after and the day after and the day after. So it becomes a slippery slope. But something is only a real problem because you think it is. To give you another example, some people can just eat one cookie out of a package and be completely fine with it. While some other people, they'll need to eat the entire box of cookies. But what is the difference actually? Is it in their DNA? Some people just can't resist 
racist. They're just inferior individuals with less willpower. That is not the truth. Not everyone who eats one cookie is going to develop binge eating disorder. So in that same spirit, if every single day you work hard to reach your goals, if a couple times a year you happen to have to release that sexual urge, nothing bad is going to happen to you. And all the guys that you watch videos from, do you seriously think they're perfect all of the time? Obviously not. Now don't get me wrong, I'm not trying to say that you should do stupid things, that you should indulge in bad habits just because. What I am saying is if you do fall, don't let that hold you back. Because I know some people, they're going to relapse and so their whole day is crushed. Now because they had a relapse, they're not going to work, they're not going to go to the gym. Instead, get right back on track as soon as you can. Now it's true that to become truly successful, you need to learn to go for delayed gratification as opposed to always going for the easy access instant gratification. Now when it comes to undeserved dopamine, porn and masturbation are the worst. To put this in perspective, eating is going to boost your dopamine levels by 150%, smoking by 200%, and watching porn and doing your thing by 250%. And the worst part about it is that the negative side effects last much longer than with any of the other sources of easy dopamine. So if you watch porn a couple times a week, even a couple times a day, and you do your thing, no wonder why you're lethargic, no wonder why you have no drive, no motivation to do anything. Let's be honest, after doing your thing, you're not going to want to do an hour and a half of deep work. You're not going to want to go and lift heavy stuff at the gym. And countless studies have actually shown that people who consume porn and masturbate excessively have a much lower life satisfaction than people who don't. The reason being, if you do it constantly, you're always spiking your dopamine levels to a crazy degree like we've seen it, more so than when you eat or even smoke. But the worst part is that your body gets used to receiving this amount of dopamine. So now you need to actually watch porn and do the thing not to feel like crap. You don't even get a boost anymore. So when you try to quit, at first, everything is going to be tasteless. You've got to understand that sexual energy is the most powerful type of energy stored in the body. And I say stored, but really most people just waste it on pixels on the screen. Instead, what you want to do is to tap into that energy, to transmute it, to channel it, to reach your goals and to work hard. Because trust me, when you feel an urge, if instead you go and you exercise, you lift some heavy stuff, you are going to feel so damn good and you'll be stronger. And let's be honest, all of the things that you want, the success, the beautiful girls, the respect and the admiration of others, it's not going to come easy. Those things we want them, everybody does, simply because they are so hard to obtain. If it were easy to become a millionaire or to get jacked, it wouldn't be special. We want the next thing. And the worst part about porn and constantly doing your thing is that now you're too socially awkward to talk to other people. You're too shy to look a stranger in the eye. Let's not even talk about the girl that you're into. Now on your journey, you need to understand that you'll probably have many relapses, especially at first. In the first couple months, it is the toughest. But that is simply part of the process. That's why earlier I said that if you fall, you need to not beat yourself up for falling because everyone falls. However, you need to make sure that you get back up on your feet as quickly as possible. Don't let your entire day or even your entire week go to waste just because of a small moment of inattention. But at the end of the day, you need to understand that if you truly want to make your dreams come true, you'll do whatever the hell it's going to take. Understand one thing, your goals simply don't care about your excuses. In fact, nobody does. Now it's good to retain that strong, that powerful sexual energy. But like I said, you need to channel it towards a mission, towards reaching a big goal. And one thing that you need to do is to take your money seriously. If you had an online business, if you made money through it, you would have so much freedom and so much abundance, you could do anything that you want. You could live in a beautiful, peaceful environment. You could take the person that you love out to dinner and pay the bill. But if you don't have money, you'll be the slave of somebody else. You'll have to do what other people want you to do. And your life is not going to be fun, trust me. For that reason, I have recorded a free video in which I'm going to analyze every popular online business model. Together, we'll take a look at the pros and at the cons, and I'm also going to share with you the three-step process that you can use to start your business literally today and to start getting your first customers as quickly as possible. If you're interested, the link is in the description below.